Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick and David. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because we're coming at you guys from our hangar and not in the cockpit. Yeah, so today we thought it'd be fun to go over five different planes that might be good as starter planes for you guys. Of course, there's a bunch of different kinds of planes, but we narrowed it down to five. Um, we have planes in different categories in case you're looking for something different and we hope that our video is gonna be worth your while. So let's get into it. All right guys, so first on our list is gonna be the Cessna 150 or 152. It's a two-place airplane that you can get in either tricycle, tailwheel, or aerobatic configuration. And if you look hard enough, you can find one for around 15,000, um, but more realistically, you'll probably find one a lot easier around 20 to $30,000 range, which is still pretty affordable. And the average cost per hour is 40 to $50 per hour, and that includes a 5.6 gallon per hour average um, fuel burn and about a hundred knot cruise speed, which is semi slow, but that means it's a good time builder So you'll get places a lot slower and you'll build time quicker and also the range is about 350 nautical miles So you can get decently far on this little plane Number two on the list is the Cessna 172 uh, being the most produced plane ever with over 43,000 built and production starting back in 1956 you're gonna find a huge um, fluctuation in pricing. You could get a decent one under $40,000. Um, the more like IFR equipped ones and stuff will run you up upwards of $100,000, $120,000. But in the long run, it's gonna be really worth it because that's the 172s, they're really good at holding their price. And they only burn 8.5 gallons per hour. So up front, when you own a plane, you're really only paying for the fuel. So right now, our fuel at our airport is under $4 a gallon. So paying for only 8.5 gallons, it, it's, it's a really good deal rather than renting it because Cessna 172s often rent for $120 to $150. Um, a fun fact about these planes is they did start out as a tail dragger as a 170. So if you look and you want a tail dragger, you can technically get a Cessna 172 in a tail dragger configuration. All right guys, so next up is the Piper Cherokee. These have been around for quite a while and you can get a decent one for around twenty dollars to $30,000. You're going to have an average cost per hour of about $75 and a fuel burn of 8.1 gallons per hour on average, giving you a cruise speed of around 110 knots, again, depending on the wind, your weight, and all that other stuff. And this plane is also very common, so you'll be able to find plenty of mechanics, plenty of people to help you out on um, keeping up your plane. And number four on the list is the Piper Cub. These are one of the most recognizable general aviation aircraft with their yellow tail dragger design. You can find these for around thirty to forty thousand dollars, and the the number one thing about these is their light fuel burn. It's about four point five gallons per hour, although you do see a really low cruise speed of around sixty eight knots, which is good for that low and slow flying. If you want to fly with the doors open over the beach, really low and slow, have one of the best days, get some cool shots. That's what these planes specialize in. The range isn't the best on this at three hundred sixty miles. But then again, if you're willing to trade the range for that low and slow flying where with the doors wide open, this is the aircraft for you. And number five on our list is a little bit different. It's a twin engine. We're gonna be talking about the Cessna 310. These things look amazing and depending on the configuration, you can fit up to seven people in the plane. They're generally affordable um, for a twin engine. You can find one for about 50 to 60,000 in decent condition. And your cost per hour is gonna be pretty low considering that there are two different engines at $112 per hour on average. Your fuel burn is gonna be a little bit higher just because you do have a twin um, that's gonna be coming in about 25 gallons per hour at cruise and your cruise speed is about 183 knots. And the range on this plane is pretty far at almost a thousand nautical miles so you can get really far on a full tank. So as far as this video goes, the hourly cost is going to include your fuel, your maintenance, your insurance, and your hangar fees. Yeah, and just be careful when you're going out there buying a plane, make sure you do get a pre-buy inspection by a mechanic that isn't on the field because they might know the owner and they might try to lean in their favor to get you to buy that plane. Um, and definitely, the pre-buy might be a little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it because that's going to save you a ton in maintenance. So make sure that before you go out and purchase an airplane, you go to one of your local flight schools and check out these airplanes. Uh, most flight schools are going to have the 150s, the Cherokees, and the 172s. If you look, you'll find you can find a Cub for rental and a uh, Cessna 310 somewhere, or find a buddy that has one and ask if he could take you up to let you check it out before you make that decision of purchasing one. And if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them below for different first planes that maybe you wanna look at or that maybe you got as your first plane. And then we'll also be posting links to all these planes below so you can find out some more information. So if you guys enjoy our content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. We will see you on the next one.